What's up guys? Happy Holidays. I wanted to make a quick video to go over a couple of updates with uh, my 3D printer here. One of the things is I said I'd make a video showing the enclosure that I was going to print for the voltage regulator. It's right here. Um, it has some slots in the front of it and in the back which allow air to pass through. So I made sure I positioned it in front of this fan. Um, an issue though is over the last couple days I had a uh, Belkin USB hub catch fire and cause some damage to the printer control board, the Mindy board for the FlashForge printer here. I had the printer plugged into the USB hub which was in connect connected to my machine because I have a couple of other printers. I have a thermal printer uh, and some label printers. Um, the hub caught fire caused some damage to this printer. haven't had a chance to check out the other ones, but it's possible it caused damage to those. So right now, my FlashForge 3D printer cannot communicate with my desktop machine. I can only print from an SD card, um, which a lot of people print from SD cards rather than from their machine. That way, it, it pretty much guarantees you know there are no interruptions in printing if your machine reboots from updates or gets knocked offline for some reason. Um, but I, I really enjoyed the monitoring features within the MakerBot software and the Cura software. It's just something I liked. It was it was nice to be able to look at my machine while I'm working and see you know the progress. I know you can look at the printer and see that as well. It's just it's just something I liked. Um, and you know also to be able to update the firmware on the board, it's much easier to do it over USB. So as of right now, I I can't update the firmware. I can't really change many settings. I can only print from an SD card. I contacted Belkin, showed them pictures of the USB hub, how the plastic is deformed and melted. I took the cover off and you can see the voltage regulator in the USB hub is completely black where it caught on fire and sent you know a spike of voltage through the USB cables and caused damage to the USB uh, portion of the printer. There's a chip right here directly behind the USB port on the Mighty Board that literally blew off and um, it turned brown underneath there. I cleaned it up with some alcohol to look at it better. Um, but the USB controller portion of this mighty board is completely bad. Uh, downsides, you know, obviously you can't print from USB. Flash Forge wants about 196 bucks after shipping for a replacement. You know, that's a lot of money for a printer that's already, you know, almost $2,000 once you add up, you know, your stuff to it to make it how you want it to be. Um, so I'm going through that, trying to figure out the next step, what I'm going to do. Uh, it looks like the Wanho printers also use the same board. Uh, I'm just not sure how I feel about using their board compared to here. Theirs has a different connector for the RGB LEDs, so I'd have to switch that out. Uh, there are a couple other things that were different. Instead of these quick connects here, they had the screw terminals, which I like, you know, the quick connects, but those are small things I can get around. It's just, you know, you're this is how it's set up when it came from the factory and it's pretty much how I want it to be. So a takeaway from this video is be careful as to what USB hubs you're using if you are using one. I would stay away from Belkin. If I contacted them, they don't want to do anything to help me other than give me a 20% off coupon to buy more stuff from their store. They don't they won't even replace the current USB hub unless I pay to ship it back to them. Rather than them just sending me a new USB hub since it's under warranty, I have to pay my money to send it back to them just to get a replacement. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm never going to use another Belkin product. Uh, I urge you to not as well. Uh, if you're going to use a USB hub, I would look on Amazon and Newegg reviews. Look for something that might be powered so it has some type of power conditioner built into it. So if something fails, it would just prevent power from flowing through rather than just if something fails it just sends whatever it wants down your USB ports and whatever is connected to it is going to incur damage. Uh, the thermal printer I have that's also connected to it is about a $1500 thermal printer uh, that can, and it can also print RFID tags. If that printer is damaged I'm out a lot of money so you know just just look at the USB hubs you're using go over everything you know I to be safe I even replaced all the USB cables that were connected to that hub so I'm replacing the hub with something else, a different brand. i got to find a brand. If anybody knows of a good brand USB hub, let me know. Um, I replaced all the cables, and, and I'm going to try to figure out something to replace this Mighty Board so I can get the USB functions back. 
But uh, so really the biggest part of this video is just be careful as to what you connect to your machines and the equipment that you use. I mean this was a $15 USB hub. I guess I should have paid attention to that when I was using it on my machines and just you know wasn't expecting it to literally catch on fire um, and cause damage to stuff. So um, hope everybody has a happy holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. Have a happy holiday. Spend time with your family. You know, family is really important. So spend time with your family. Take a day off for yourself. Go out and buy yourself a Christmas gift. Whatever. Just buy yourself something small. And have a good time. Have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later.